<laughs> this is silly. What do you mean it's silly? It's not silly. Your face is silly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm using it. <laughs> There's gonna be so much editing for this video. Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today I am bringing you my sister tag. She's my sister. What? I know. I told you. I don't know. <laughs> this is awkward at all. No. <laughs> awkward turtles make weird babies. All right, so the sister book tag is a bunch of questions, 15 actually, about sort of our different bookish likes and bookish things. She's more bookish than I am. I am. So um, before we get started, I will let her introduce herself. No, let's. <laughs> What's your name? It's Amy. And who's older? You are. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. yeah. I could look younger. Anyway, so this is the first time I've ever had another person in front of the screen with me. So try not to be too awkward. She's she's my sister. She's three years younger than me. And how many? This many. Oh goodness. So um, this is how we are in real life. <laughs> we are uh, just this awkward. So before you know it gets any more awkward and you guys get secondhand embarrassment <laughs> i'm pretty sure we're way past that point yeah too late <laughs> <laughs> um the very first question is name your favorite childhood book you go first what i can't remember the name of it the one with the horse black beauty <laughs> Like the one with the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Real broad. <laughs> well, when we were younger, mom and dad used to read to us every night. Mm -hmm. I the only one that I can remember from that are it's two books I remember: it's Black Beauty and The Secret Garden. Mm -hmm. um, I loved the uh, the Little Princess. Yes, the one that it was during World War Two, and it's a good movie too. Very good movie. Very good movie. I vaguely remember. Yeah, it's been a long time. it was really, really good. Cause I remember mom and dad um, when they used to take us to Barnes and Noble. They used to take every, us every like paycheck or every other paycheck, and then we'd go out. And if we had finished our family book, they would pick another one. Second question is name a book you loved, but which your sister didn't like. Pretty much any of the books I normally read, my sister's not gonna like. I can't think of one that she. Oh, one that she 100% hated was, um, I'm pretty sure, the uh, Shades of Grey or Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> that face, though. Uh, I, yeah, I read it. What's, come at me. <laughs> I read it. <laughs> um, what about you? What book have you read that I didn't like? I can't. I don't think I have an answer for this one. I have a book that you let me borrow, but I never read. Oh, yeah. It was The Fault in Our Stars. Mm -hmm. She never read. I gave her that one to read because I was like, this is a really good book. And she just never got around to it and eventually gave it back to me. I did. I was just like, I, I was like, what'd you think of it? She's like, I didn't read it. Yeah. Well, because, okay, I intentionally, like, run away from books that make me sad. <laughs> And we had just gone to see the movie, and I sobbed like the biggest baby in the whole entire world. And I was like, I'm not going to live through that again. Like, not going to live through that again. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah, see? Worse than the book. Great trying to sell me on the book there. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, question number three. Name a character you love, but whom your sister doesn't like. A character. From something I know. From something you know. Ooh, the Anita Blake series. Uh, you didn't know her. I don't know. Richard. You I didn't did not like Richard. I liked Richard in the first three books. I never liked him. Yeah. I liked Richard in the first three books. So um, it's the Anita Blake series by Laurel K. Hamilton. The very first book is Guilty Pleasures. And um, Richard was one of her love interests. And uh, he's a crappy love interest. 
she did not like him as a love interest. And I, I actually rooted for him. Micah's better. Micah is a lot better, but spoilers. So, um, <laughs> so yes. Um, oh, number four, what are your favorite bookish habits? And so I love curling up in a nice comfy blanket with willow and a cup of coffee. 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 Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. And I like just reading that way. What about you? When you do read? Uh, when I do read is usually when I'm on break at work. Yeah. So. Do you like to find like a cozy corner so that you don't have to I'll have put any... put my headphones in so nobody will talk. No human interaction. <laughs> Number six, what are your favorite fandoms? So it does not have to be book. It could be a different fandom. Uh, I do really like like Marvel and Captain America and all of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fandom would probably have to be Harry Potter. <clears throat> of course. What was that? That's a given. Well... The only other <laughs> fandoms that I have are like cozy mysteries. That counts. Does it? Does, the it? does Sherlock Holmes count? Yeah. Sherlock Holmes. I do like Sherlock. Sherlock is a really good show. Um, number seven. Pick a book you want to steal from your sister's bookshelves. What would you like to steal from my bookshelf? Well, these are all cozies. You won't want any of these. Um. I don't know. I'll take all your Laurel K. Hamilton books. My Laurel K. Hamilton books. What was that? What's the, um, oh, the Lumberjanes I still have. I haven't given back to you. Yeah, yeah. So I fell in love with the Lumberjanes, the uh, graphic novel series that um, we were in California at the Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con. Yep, we went there. And so it was for our sister Cation and we... <laughs> we drove up. <laughs> yeah, we drove up to work the Comic Con for a friend, and um, I got to roam around in the bookish aisles. All right, so found the Lumberjanes at the Comic Con, and it was good, and so she likes it and probably wants to steal the other comic that I did not give her yet. The next book or a different comic? No, the next book in the. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. You gotta finish. <laughs> The first part. And yeah. then well, I'll get around to it. Then you'll bring it back, and then i let you borrow another one. You see how that, the give and take. Well, now you know how I feel when you borrowed A Fault in Our Stars and didn't read it. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> All right, so, number eight. No. What, <laughs> what is your common favorite fandom? I would have to say, like, Star Trek. Star Trek, even though I only got like two and a half books into Harry Potter, I do like Harry Potter. Yeah, but I feel like Star Trek's the one that we, yeah, we both, like, we rewatched Voyager over and over again, Next Gen, we rewatched the original series together. The original stuff is so hard to get through. But you know, it's you, good though, it's it, worth it. it. It's good for your soul. So, um, yeah, I think that that's one that we have in common. Number nine, name a book you both really want to read. <clears throat> well, I just finished Artemis. And I borrowed it, and I'm going to start it. Yeah. Tomorrow, because I forgot. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I bought Artemis from the Book of the Month Club, and I finished it in, like, two days, three days. And so, I let her borrow it, because she actually got me to read The Martian. And so, when I saw that his second book was coming out, I knew that Aaron wanted to read it, and I wanted to read it, and I pretty much assumed she would want to read it. So it's just going to be a sharing book. <clears throat> sharing is king. Um, number 10, name a fictional place you'd love to visit. Narnia. Narnia? Narnia. Why Narnia? I don't know. Did, did you just the first thing that came to my head. Hogwarts probably is your answer. Well, am I wrong though? No. <laughs> But, at least I know why I want to visit Hogwarts in the Harry Potter world. You don't even know reason for Narnia. I'd like to go visit Hogwarts too. 
Yeah. You stole my answer. <laughs> Narnia? <laughs> no. Number 11. Name a book you recommended to your sister, which she ended up loving. The Martian. The Martian. Um... The uh, Anita Blake series. It's a really good series. I got you started on that. Or Although, other... whenever you were reading it, I wasn't old enough yet. No, no. <laughs> Even when I was reading it, I wasn't old enough yet. <laughs> like, if we're going to get, yeah. if we're going to get, you know, technical in the age. really good book series. Okay, rated R. So, but I started reading it when I was 15. Gold star for Laurel K. Hamilton, though. Yeah, good job, Laurel. All right, um... Round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> um, number 12. Who's your favorite literary crush? I don't have an answer to this one. When I was younger, I had a crush on Nathaniel. Remember when we used to go bowling and we tried to mess each other up by screaming Laurel K. Hamilton oh, male characters no. at each other? So, like, you'd go to go bowl and I'd scream, like, Asher or John Claude. I do, unfortunately, remember that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Self-size. <laughs> so no crush. Mm. Did you have a crush on Anita? Yeah. She's badass. She's badass. Mm -hmm. Number 13, name a series you were surprised to both fall in love with. I don't think any books that we read are a <laughs> surprise for us, though. <laughs> no. I don't know about this one. We don't read a lot of the same books. Mm -mm, we don't have a lot of the same tastes in books. Maybe I should start reading the Crazy Nurse Journey. You have no idea how happy that would make us. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna read a cozy? <gasps> if you're gonna read a cozy, pick okay. one for me to start. <gasps> oh, it has to be a cat one. Okay. You'll love the cat ones. Ooh, Sophie Kelly! <laughs> okay. I will get her the first one of Sophie Kelly to read. <laughs> it's so good. The cats have magical powers. You told me. I know! <laughs> I know! <laughs> Number 14, name your favorite poets or authors. Laurel well, K. Hamilton. Hers is Laurel K. Hamilton. Mine's gonna be Ellie Alexander or Bailey Cates. And Andy Weir. Andy Weir's good. Um... Ooh, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Melissa Bourbon, I really like. I really, really like Cleo Coyle, Erica Chase. Pretty much, oh, Sherlock Holmes. Every book she's ever read. Not every book. I don't like all of them. I don't like all of them. Um, Final question. Yes. Recommend some books to your sister. Every cozy mystery. Surprised? No. Yeah. Cozy Mysteries, or if you like Laurel K. Hamilton, which I know you do, I think that you would really, really enjoy Karen Marie Moni. Like, this is a really, really, really good series. A really thick book. Well, that's really thick, but like her, or Sherilyn Kenyon. Sherilyn Kenyon's really good. One at a time. Okay. <laughs> the Cozy Mystery. The Cozy Mystery is going to be the one that that is the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little sister, Amy. She's my bestest friend and I love her face and boop! What a betrayal. Oh my gosh. It's like M. Night Shyamalan wrote this. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> That's the end of this chapter of Court Tagonist. I'm just kidding. I love you. Love you. Oh, God. Okay. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye. Bye. I'm getting <laughs> You're using my glasses as mirrors?